What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Come back at y'all with a quick video, real quick. I ain't gonna make this too long. I wanna uh, title this one right here, Mind Control, part three. Tell live vision was used for propaganda as a propaganda machine. Now, you know, we're gonna start it off with this picture right here and I was doing some research. Shout out to Rashad Jamal, by the way. I seen one of his old posts and I've been doing research on this as well. And this came, you know, in the midst of me doing research on it. He ended up saying something that caught my attention. It's pretty interesting. Let's get into it. Now, let me prove to you what the hell I got, what I'm talking about. So, I want to prove to y'all that when the TV was first created, it wasn't called the television, um, the TV. It was called the propaganda machine. You think I'm lying? Let's see what Google has to say. I love proving people wrong. Stick right here. Two seconds and I'm going to reverse this joint for you to see it. Because see, don't believe me. I ain't CNN. I ain't NBC. I ain't ABC. I ain't CBS. I ain't the Bible. I ain't none of, I ain't the Quran. I ain't the Pope. I ain't Barack Obama, Bush. I ain't none of these reptilian manipulators of these people all throughout history who have told you shit and told you don't ask questions. Or you're going to hell. Just believe. Don't believe shit, I'm saying. Research it. Then meditate on it. You're going to know more about it than me. Because the truth is hidden in your soul. But I'll get mm -hmm. on to that next. Let me stay on top of this propaganda machine. So y'all can understand. Notice the words I'm using. Because I'm, I'm, I have broken free from that time trap. So when I speak to y'all of the gods and goddesses who's watching right now. I'm trying to awaken y'all. Notice how I keep saying. I'm not saying I understand. Understand. N another language trap. Etymology. I'm going to break understand all this shit down. And I'm going to show it to you. But notice I keep saying inner. I... I means the soul. So my soul, I understand. Never say understand, people. I feel it from within. Because understand literally means that, that to stand right. under. So when you saying I understand, you're saying that you, a God, a God that stands under something. You, you're saying that it's a being or a power higher than yourself. And there is nothing more powerful than you. Mm -hmm. There right, is no right. God in the sky. There is no devil in the ground. All right? Let's get rid of this 500-year religious manipulation that has been used to directly affect our kundalini energy okay your ancestors didn't pray to nobody your ancestors prayed to they self your ancestors praised each other when we seen our woman we said hey beautiful goddess hey beautiful queen that's praying that's why the word pray etymology people comes means to praise mm. now, that's pretty interesting right there you know i just want to look that up because that was Pretty interesting, he summed it up for that, but you know, I got more into that. So, you know, they was alluding to this, like one of the early forms, like World War One, all that shit like that. So let's look at the definition of propaganda. Information, bias, misleading nature, used to promote or publicize a particular political cause or point of view. <clears throat> now, you know they use propaganda on the news. They get you feeling some type of way. There's recalls on this, there's recalls on that. So. I always looked at the news as bad news as opposed to, you know, good news because there's never like any good news on there. So that's another form of programming, propaganda, a.k.a. mind control, all of that, all in the same lines. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to show you the definition of it. If you didn't know, you feel me? It's extensive uh, more to say to it when you got like a book. But that's the Google definition. So, you know, mind control like shit like this. TV all glitches, you, you know them joints with the shit be like this. <laughs> Not even that, but the joints be like this, like a feature presentation type shit. So on to the Hitler uh, mindset. I don't know, did I put the joint? Yeah, so let's look at this. The origins of it. The first television was created in the late 1920s or the early 1930s. And you see it was called the, the W3XK. And that right there was like a frequency machine. So it was more so like you turning knobs, you tweaking it. And the whole origins of this is it was projecting picture into like waveform and shit like that. So, you know, like taking pictures and making it to a motion picture, like taking the pictures and putting the motion to it, AKA frequencies, things of that nature. So, and I'm pretty sure this is not the original person to do it because they probably stole the shit, but hey, we're going to leave it right here, though. The whole thing about it is tell lie vision. Tell lies to your vision. 
forms of propaganda, forms of mind control, forms of getting you following agendas or picking up on agendas. But in actuality, we should be getting outside, you know what I'm saying? Read some books. Look at this. That's propaganda right there. Like people walking. You know, look at this motherfucker just never was like some shit on the TV, like something crazy, right? It catches your attention. That's mind control. That's fucking propaganda and shit. You might as well be sitting behind the shit like this. But let's get to the Hitler shit, though. <laughs> the man responsible for their propaganda and recruitment. He was originally their PR man, and what he did essentially was emphasize posters, the meeting on the poster. But the posters he produced were incredibly vivid and striking with powerful colors, uh, rich representations of various enemies, uh, powerful images like dragons and so forth. And, and so this, this got them audience, and, and this was the first building block. The second building block was words. Hitler believed in the power of speech to persuade an audience above all other methods. Mm, so that's key right there. because We had a lot of people that used their vocal range to get the audiences. You know what I'm saying? The earlier uh, individuals, so-called leaders, the Malcolm X's, the Martin Luther King's, the people that was in the political standpoint. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying all of them is corrupt. I'm saying it's like Dick Gregory, for instance, they said he was with Martin Luther King marching and things of that nature. And he said also that it was years before they got him until he went to D.C. And then they got him, you know what I'm saying? Got to do your research on certain things. The guy was very knowledgeable. They said he had like one of the most worst cancers, but he found a way to cure it or to um, keep it at a level where it wasn't, you know, fucking him up to that level. You know what I'm saying? But let's get back into it. His particular brand of rhetoric and delivery, crafted in these early years, would remain a fixture of his propaganda methodology. So Hitler was a blueprint. Deutsches Volk! Best in the league! Oh, be sad! Oh, stay the fuck out of here! Oh, the last two diner peta! Oh, the last two diner eigene generation! Vergiss! 14 years of fall! And heaven is born! All it takes is a person to be put in a position of power and then the people get behind them. And then, you know, like, especially for shit like this, it's a chance that these motherfuckers, look at this, the swastika. So in you already know. first mass meeting in February 1920, they renamed themselves the Nationalist Socialist German Workers' Party, or Nazi Party. Here, Hitler presented the party's 25-point plan. What could have been a dull reading of political ideology, Hitler turned into a rousing speech. Hitler had two particular advantages um, when it came to public speaking. The first was his unusual voice, which was actually a result of him being gassed in the First World War. And if you listen to Hitler's speeches now, there's a certain rasp to his speech, and that gives him an air of authenticity. Yeah, with that shouting method, you know what I'm saying? Like that vocal range for just... Wenn ihr selbst im Vertrauen und in Zuversicht hinter uns tretet, kann das große Werk der Rettung unseres Volkes und euer Selbst gelingen. He's also an Austrian by birth, although he's picked up a Bavarian accent during his time in Germany. And this sets him aside from the other politicians in the 20s and 30s who are almost uniformly Prussians and speak with a very received form of German. He has a genuine voice, not merely from the army, but from the streets, from the provinces. So they're comparing him to a motherfucker that in the streets and shit like that. They were able to get away with such unimaginable atrocities. The truth is that none of it would have been possible without Hitler's propaganda machine. Within weeks of the Nazis taking power, Hitler established the Ministry for Popular Enlightenment and Propaganda to spread National Socialist ideas, and he was very clear about the ministry's purpose. In 1924, Hitler was quoted as saying that propaganda's task is not to make an objective study of the truth insofar as it favors the enemy and then set it before the masses with academic fairness. Its task is to serve our own right always and unflinchingly. At the head of this all-important ministry was a Right, so that's that's interesting. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta look at the definition of unflinching. What the hell is that? Un unflinching. Cause we gotta correlate this: not showing fear or hesitation in fear of danger. 
So, like, as along with what they were saying, the level of authenticity, he had that level of bravado, you know, like what a real leader should have to, you know, get you. But even Hitler, like, towards the end of his years, they said that this motherfucker probably was in a bunker, ducked off, or something, or faked his death. So, you know, it's like even shit like that. Or was he assassinated? Who knows, bro? But the main shit is television. The early forms of the propaganda came from Hitler and the war tactics and things of that nature. So they used this stuff because they was messing with the frequencies to see what's up with their opponent and things of that nature to get the advantage and stuff. And then this became, you bringing it, I'm, I'm, I'm doing too much talking. The man named <laughs> Josef Goebbels. Goebbels was a gifted speaker and a talented propagandist, and he would go on to be the man largely responsible for the German people's favorable opinion of the Nazi regime. The Nazis' propaganda campaigns were so successful because they targeted the weaknesses and aspirations of different classes of Germans. Under Goebbels' direction, the ministry crafted unique messages for different audiences and used advanced advertising techniques for the day to spread their nefarious ideas throughout German society. The military rearmament campaign was a clear violation of the Versailles Treaty, but also created many jobs in a struggling economy and helped the Nazis secure the support of the working classes. Messages targeting business owners who had suffered after the war placed the blame for all of Germany's recent troubles on communists and Jews and claimed that Germany had been stabbed in the back and betrayed by foreign aggressors after World War I. The key themes of propaganda targeting the middle and upper classes focused on the supposed purity and racial supremacy of the German people. Nazi propaganda infiltrated all areas of German life, from education and industry to science and entertainment, and the ministry used all forms of media to spread their messages and present Germany as the defender of Western culture. Art and radio and music and film and the- Uh-huh, so what is that? That's TV, bro. That's television. ...were all harnessed to further the Nazis' agenda. Everything from the Nazis' uniforms to the party's strict hierarchy echoed a strong military theme and appealed to Germans who wanted to regain the country's former glory as a military power. War was glorified as a way for the Germans to avenge themselves against their enemies, and a propaganda campaign rebranded the post-war years as part of a 30 years war, one that started in 1914 with the onset of World War I, and one that wouldn't end until Germany was victorious and restored to its former glory. Painted in this light, the Nazis were able to convince the German public that their enemies were planning to attack them at any moment, and the Nazis were able to claim that the invasion of Poland at the start of World War II was simply an act of self-defense. This militaristic theme was on prominent display during the many rallies held by Hitler. Nazi party rallies were held annually in Nuremberg to display the power and might of the Nazi regime and gain popular support for the party. Often lasting for more than a week, thousands of spectators would flood the fairgrounds to attend folk festivals and watch parades of specially selected SS and military troops who best represented the Aryan ideal as they marched through the grounds turning to Hitler who was situated at the very top of the massive Hmm. You know, so hit that, you know what I'm saying? Let's put this in there. What is this? Even this. Early forms of the television. You see how it was like low resolution and shit? Look at that. It's just all by design. Like, this shit is all in our faces. The race for television. Because, look, this was like a tactic. It was a race for it, of course. Because it was used as mind control and it got a lot of individuals. Speed it up a little bit. About to end this on a little second. All right, so this is all right. Let's get. This is one of the first surviving television images. The year is 1928. Just eight years later, the race for television was won and lost by the man who led the way and recorded this picture. The station goes on the air. November the 2nd, 1936. See that? <laughs> Who would ever thought the propaganda machine would later inspire, you know what I'm saying, agendas pushed worldwide. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, America was the biggest bully. So America was bullying motherfuckers. Germany, they had the blueprint for certain things. And guess what? America took the motherfucking idea, flipped it to their own. Let's add one more part before I get up out of here. Um, what is that last part? Oh yeah, I seen this. Now come on, let's add it all in there. More microbes. Believe that the act of getting vaccinated is 
I do believe that the act of getting vaccinated is the very essence, the very essence of what the Bible tells us when it says. The Bible, what Bible is she reading? Must be the demonic testament, because that's nonsense. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this video right here, man. Mind control, part three, propaganda, machine, AKA the television, tell live vision. Programmer, you already know. It all correlates to their agenda. Keep your eyes open. Keep your vibes high. Peace and love to y'all. You already know.